My name is Shaz, we're part of the um, high risk program and we live in Victoria. I'm Nathan, um, we've been part of the high risk program for about eight months now. Uh, we both moved from, uh, from Auckland, New Zealand, uh, roughly about seven years ago. Uh, we were living in, in Melbourne City initially and then uh, we started looking for properties uh, just to get an idea of you know, what, what, what was in the market. So the first thing we actually got in was a, a rooming a rooming house, a rooming accommodation in Melbourne City itself, uh, which was a two bedroom house which was converted into a five bedroom apartment. Um, and we stayed there for about six months. Um, and then obviously doing the high risk goes, now we know they were running it a bit, a bit shady, I guess, to put it lightly. Uh, but we, we also knew the demand for it because when we went and had a look at that property, there was about 20 people lining up. Especially doing high risk now, we knew from, from our previous experience that there was definitely demand for it. Uh, we've been looking for uh, an investment property for a while and we were looking at specifically positive, positively geared properties. Um, there wasn't, we were looking at different strategies and you know the only option we sort of knew initially was just to get a standard house, rent it out as you would normally do. Um, and it was only a, a week after we signed or two weeks after we signed the contract, we saw Ian's presentation in Melbourne. Uh, which uh, we were looking at different options. One of them was a duplex, I guess in Brisbane, we ended up purchasing it. Um, so once we started doing Ian's course, uh, we, we obviously realized there is, uh, there's definitely a, a, a market for this in, in Melbourne, not just Melbourne and Australia, I guess. It, um, so we started looking at different, uh, if we can afford another investment property in Melbourne itself. Uh, but because of the fact that we just bought another property in Brisbane, we were a bit you know, tight on how much extra money the bank would give us. Um, so we realized, look, we, we actually living, we actually living in a perfect rooming house scenario, um, and that that was it. We, we just realized, look, five bedroom house, when we had study room, an extra lounge, uh, another a big lounge itself. So there was potential, there was definitely potential in here to convert it to a seven or eight bedroom house. Um, one of the first things that we did was we actually put a, a drawing of the layout on, on the Facebook site. And actually, Ian actually went through it and he said, look, there is a potential of converting it from a five bedroom to a seven bedroom. That was the first step. And then we did our feasibility. Well, Nathan's done majority of the work for um, this property. And, you know, he's done such a fantastic job and played such a great role that I'm um, quite grateful for. <laughs> yeah, now that I've got a baby on the way, we've got a baby on the way, um, having a rooming accommodation will replace, you know, my income not working for another year, so I've got positive cash flow coming in, which is quite great. As a mum, oh, I can, you know, support my partner and also have a great future for our little one that's arriving soon. Um, total spend, including conversion and also renovation, we've uh, been looking at just under forty thousand dollars, about thirty-five, thirty-six. If we rent out the seven bedroom for the lower end of the market, we'd still be making about fifty to fifty-five thousand dollars a year. In terms of uh, cash on cash return, we're looking at about just over a year in terms of making what we spend, making it back. Which is, you know, if you're doing in top investment, that that's a pretty good, pretty good return on investment in about a year of time. Now that we know something like this works in this property, we know the next one we the next property, the next investment property that we'll be purchasing will be specifically for a high risk of rooming. I wish, I mean, just like hindsight, you know, I wish I saw this three, four years ago. Um, I would have done a few of these properties by now. Doing the high risk strategy, especially with the amount of rooms we have, uh, it works out really good for us.